Yo, yo, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Zyclone, a.k.a. R.O.S. King. Here with some heat. In this video, I'm going to show you guys seven things that is completely wrong with rules of survival. Now, when I say completely, you want to you want to watch this whole video. But before we get into it, make sure you guys subscribe and hit that bell so you know whenever I post. And also, if you guys leave a like, it'll let me know that you guys enjoy this content and you want to see more. So make sure you guys leave a like if you enjoy it. At number one, man, we have our cheaters and our hackers. Now, this will forever be a problem in ROS. It's just something that can't be fixed. ROS, they come out with updates saying that they banned over 100 people today. They come out with updates saying that they banned 1,000 people last year and stuff like that. But there's no difference. I'm not seeing no difference. They're saying they're coming out with new anti-cheating systems and stuff. But I think they're lying. I think they just want to they just want to please you guys with the words, but they're not doing any action. So, you know, that's just going to be a problem. Coming in at number two, we have lag. Now, lag will, just like cheaters, will forever be a problem. Lag cannot be fixed if ROS doesn't put in the work. ROS, they're continuing to add stuff, and the lag just makes it look terrible. You know what I'm saying? Uh, people with slower devices, the lag is just going to ruin the game. It's just going to ruin the experience for them. And we're losing sales. We're losing our market because of this. Now, ROS... I don't know exactly what you can do to fix. Look, look at this, bro. Look at the gameplay. Look at the rendering. I don't know what they can do to fix it. But ROS, it's not gonna, it's not gonna last any longer because we're losing our sales. The market is losing right now. So either you fix it or take the L. Which one? Fix the lag. Fix the lag, bro. It's ridiculous. At number three, we have our character customization. Now, this hits me personal, and I'm going to get on this right now. So, when we go to customize our character, we have to go to looks, and then we have to go to clothes. Why the f is character customization under clothes? I don't know. So, when we go to the faces, look at the faces, bro. They're preset, and there's like four faces. Look at that. Ew. <laughs> bro, there is four preset faces. That's absolutely ridiculous, <laughs> ridiculous, and it's the same for the females, bro. If we look at the females, they have the same four. ROS needs to come to a system like this. Now, this is a little advanced for a mobile game, but look how smooth this is. Look how um, appealing this is to the to the user. You know what I'm saying? They're customizing the chest plate. They're customizing the the the, the boots, bro. Like this, and they and ROS wants to give us these four preset faces and a uh, Santa Claus face. It's ridiculous, bro. Step it up, ROS. At number four, we have our home screen. Now, this is about marketing right now. If we look at the loading screen, it's 2D. It's out. It's out. Of, it's out of style, bro. It's outdated. It's slow. It's it's not uh, appealing. And then when, as soon as the game starts, we're hit with a big error loading screen. Not even error. It's like an update loading screen, bro. Nobody wants to see that, bro. It's too big of a message. It's not making sense to a new user. The user is just gonna close the app, bro. But when we press, uh, when we press play, another 2D loading screen is outdated. It's not, you know what I'm saying? But when we get to this login daily thing, the claimable, it should just say claim. Claimable is not appealing to the user, bro. It just, it should just say claim, bro. That's it. They did too much. But as soon as the game starts, we're hit with a pop-up about a new skin and another pop-up about another new skin. And as soon as we close that, they throw us right into the store. That is money hungry ROS. That is ridiculous. And that's that's just how, what does that make your company look like? You just you're here for the money, bro. The game is losing its quality. We're losing customers. The market is failing because of our priorities. We're focused on the money. Look, the store looks absolutely ridiculous. And you guys are focused on the wrong things the quality is not updating you guys keep saying you're optimizing you're adding new animations and new skins but i'm seeing zero difference whatsoever and i'm being completely honest looking at this home screen look at all these buttons this is disgusting ros update the home screen now you understand if we press this little uh, arrow at the bottom that did absolutely nothing except for just roll that up it all looks the same update it now ros that's not appealing at all too many buttons let's move on <clears throat> at number five we have our skins now i'm gonna tell you guys the problem with the skin look at this skin 
I'm gonna tell you guys the exact problem with these skins that are coming out, with the skins for the vehicles that are coming out. <clears throat> all the skins for all the things in this game that are coming out are are not good. Because look at this game. This was the game back then, like two years ago or a year ago. This looks realistic. This looks nice. This looks military type style. This looks, um, like I said, realistic. It looks really good, but it, it could be better. But looking at what they're adding to the game now, what is this? The themes aren't adding up. This is sci-fi. This is this is not realistic at all. So you're adding realistic and sci-fi together. And what is that making? It's making a flop. It's not making any sense whatsoever. And they're still adding. They're not waking up to the fact that we're losing customers. We're losing sales because of these. Who's buying that? That doesn't make sense. And this is ridiculous. This is hideous. This is out of this world. Stop the music right now. We have little kids playing this game. We have little kids playing this game and you want to add this as an emote sticker? It's ridiculous. You lost full respect, ROS, and we're losing customers till this day. And, you know, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you, ROS, because you're still adding stuff like this. You're still adding stuff like this. It's just not adding up. Either you go realistic or you go sci-fi. You have real humans with fake items, with fake cars, fake guns. It's not making any sense right now. The game is flopping right now. The game is losing. At number six, we have our mechanics. This is just the gameplay in general. Looking at the gameplay, this little tilt, it's, it's, it's stiff, yo. Everything is looking stiff. It's looking out of style. It's looking outdated. It's not as good as it should be. Look at this tilt. It's so stiff. The gameplay is stiff right now. It doesn't look good whatsoever. You have a real human with all these fake items. The game looks... It looks like a flop. Nobody's playing this over. Are you PUBG Mobile over this any day? Look at the game, bro. This is why we're losing sales. This is why the market is failing. Look at the tilt. The tilt is stiff. The items look <laughs> fake right now. Look at the gameplay. It's ridiculous. Dude sliding around. The gameplay is not good. Don't get me wrong. That's a good looking kill right there. But look at the gameplay, bro. It's ridiculous. Let's move on. Last but definitely not least, we have our map. Now, this is Gilly Island. You know, the map looks good from the sky. The map looks, this is um Fearless Fjord or whatever. It, it's looking good right now. But when you get into the map, it looks exactly the same. Both maps look exactly the same. Buildings exactly the same. Everything is the same. But just bigger. Are you serious, ROS? That is so money hungry. That is so lazy. Now, this is a map. Now, this is a map right here. This is a map. And ROS, I have no, 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 um, I'm not feeling bad for you whatsoever. I'm not feeling bad for you. When the market fails, I don't care. When NetEase goes down, I don't care. You're not putting in the work. You're just, you're, you're just, you're throwing in new skins and you're charging higher prices. It's not making any sense. And the maps look exactly the same. It's terrible. Now, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you guys leave a like. Make sure you guys subscribe. And let me know down below if you disagree with anything. Let me know if you have anything else you would add. Let me know that right now in the comments down below. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you guys leave a like. I'll catch y'all, man. Peace. I'm out.